Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Alright, so look, I get it. Repetitive? Maybe. I've made maybe three or four videos already since the Trump mugshot on the exact same topic, covering what seems to be a clear phenomenon of a Trump surge post Fulton County mugshot release. But it's not like I'm grifting on these videos, to be completely honest, they're usually my worst performing videos. It's not like I'm just releasing these videos for no reason. It literally keeps happening, and it keeps getting worse for the Democrat and Uniparty establishment. Again, what's the litmus test? The question you ought to be asking if you're trying to find out if Trump is doing well or if Trump is surging is how much is the media coping? Are you sensing panic at the CNN newsroom floor? If the answer to that is yes, then it means that Trump is surging. Folks, that is exactly what's happening. CNN did multiple segments the other day after seeing a dramatic shift in CNN-specific polling data. And well, let's just say it's enough to cause extreme panic at the DCCC. Let's just say Reddit moderators are working overtime to censor anyone bringing any of this up. We got some stuff to get into. Let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so let's first start off with this tweet right over here from Benny Johnson. Watch CNN savage Joe Biden for three minutes straight over his pathetic poll numbers. Take a look. That I think to some degree uh, are jarring given the scale and what they may mean for the current president. We had brand new CNN polling this morning. And those numbers are looking rough for President Biden. Could be a troubling sign for Democrats and the president's hopes for re-election in 2024. Biden's approval rating sinking to 39 percent. Nearly 60 percent of voters think Biden's policies are making the economy worse. And close to 70 percent of Democrats want somebody else to run for president. His overall approval rating among Democratic voters, that's slipping from July. And when it comes to hypothetical matchups between Biden and the leading GOP presidential candidates, it's a tight race with no clear winner. Uh, his approval rating is down at 39 percent, 61 percent of Americans disapprove. He's been hanging at that low point, guys, for quite some time. We talk about the mood of the country uh, 14 months out from a, from a presidential election. Not that great. Three in 10 Americans. That's it. Say things are going well in the country. Seven in 10 say things are going badly in the country. And 58 percent of Americans in this poll say that Joe Biden's policies have actually worsened economic conditions in the country. Only 24% say they've improved economic conditions. This is why we hear him talking about Bidenomics every day he's out and about in the country. Well, it's certainly on the mind of voters. We, we'll, we'll see how important it becomes, but it clearly is a major concern. We asked folks, Phil, do you think, are you seriously concerned that Biden's age might negatively affect his ability to serve a full term? Three quarters of Americans are indeed seriously concerned. Three quarters of Americans don't agree on anything, but there's concern there. You see it here too, seriously concerned about his current mental and physical competence being negatively impacted by his age, and seriously concerned that his understanding of the next generation's concerns are impacted. 68% say that. And that, and the economy as we talked about, that is what is behind these numbers. Why Joe Biden is in a sort of dead heat margin of error race with nearly every Republican tested. So Joe Biden's approval rating sinks down to 39%. On nearly every single issue, he's down. Good track, bad track. Or I guess the way CNN worded the question, how are things going in the country today, well or badly, 70% responded with badly. That is horrible. I mean, the data across the board is just awful. And then hypothetical presidential polling data. Joe Biden is losing to every single candidate except for Vivek Ramaswamy and Ron DeSantis. Most importantly, Donald Trump is beating him. And again, if we analyze that from the perspective of the electoral system and not just the popular vote, if Trump is literally up by one point, that's an electoral landslide. CNN is sounding the alarm. Here's more proof, a piece from Mediaite, a leftist outlet, CNN's Dana Bash open show declaring Americans are deeply unhappy with Joe Biden. CNN reads the country's mood right now and finds that America is deeply unhappy unhappy with Joe Biden. Most Democratic voters hope for a change at the top of the ticket, and Americans 
don't take the president at his word when he talks about his son, Hunter. It's getting bad, folks. I mean, it is getting bad. It's kind of a slow trickle. Political shifts take time to really manifest and really materialize. There's just too much negative surrounding Joe. All the negative surrounding Donald Trump is manufactured, and a lot of people, I think, are seeing right through it. But the negatives and the scandals surrounding Joe, they're very much real, and slowly people are waking up to them. It's not just the economy. It's not just the border. Now people are waking up to the whole Hunter Biden thing, which honestly, in the end, might be the death knell for the Biden campaign. And when you look here about President Biden now serving as president, his actions in the Hunter Biden probe, have they been appropriate or not? 55% um, of Americans, a majority, believe Biden's actions related to the Hunter Biden probe inappropriate. 24% of Democrats, again, a majority of independents, 52%, and nearly all Republicans at 90% believe that. And this is to show what happens when you don't push back at all, mm -hmm. which is really basically what the White House has been doing, there's not been a Hunter Biden defense uh, kind of mounted in a public relations way, and it's starting to seep through beyond just the right-wing echo chamber. We're Based on CNN polling data, 55% and a majority of independents at 52%, a bipartisan majority of Americans believe that Biden's actions related to the Hunter Biden probe were inappropriate. In other words, Joe Biden was keenly aware of his son's business dealing and Joe Biden was involved in his son's business dealings, and what he did was inappropriate, in other words, illegal. Donald Trump's got a lot of manufactured scandal. There's a lot of accusations, a lot of assumptions, a lot of claims, a lot of finger pointing, but it's all fake, it's all manufactured. Joe Biden's got a real frickin' scandal on his hands, and it may in fact be one of the biggest in modern American history. People are finally waking up, at least according to the data that we're seeing now. Oh, and I almost forgot this one. I just showed you guys that 55% a majority believe that Joe Biden's actions were inappropriate. Well, 61%, and this includes 64% of independents, as you guys will see on the screen, believe that Joe Biden was actually involved with his son's corrupt business deals. We're talking about Danny here, the time when he was vice president, right? Whether Joe Biden was involved in Hunter Biden's business dealings at the time he served as vice president. Overall, if you look here, 61% of Americans think Joe Biden was involved. You can see partisanship drives this, right? Obviously, nearly all Republicans, 90 percent, believe that. This has been a major storyline and talking point on Fox News and elsewhere. 64 percent of independents believe that Biden was involved in Hunter's business dealings. 28 percent of Democrats. And I want to show you of that 61 percent overall there that believe uh, he had dealings, 42 percent, Dana, think that Joe Biden acted illegally when he was vice president in those business dealings. 38% uh, say not involved. 18% said he acted unethically, but not illegally. But that is a significant number as well. You know, that little piece of data from the poll is actually worse than the previous one. And I almost forgot to include it in the video. And speaking of worse, here's where it goes from bad to worse for the Democrats. Two credible polls were just released. One from Premise Data and one from Echelon. Both pretty legitimate pollsters. I mean, probably not the best, but pretty good. These are the first data sets that we've seen post Donald Trump mugshot and post Joe Biden's little fake honeymoon period as if the economy was in recovery mode when it clearly wasn't. Basically, reality set in. And well, again, the trend here seems very clear. Bad to worse. The first poll from Echelon Data shows Trump leading Joe Biden 46 to 45, again a one-point lead, which signifies a possible, I mean, whooping in the Electoral College. DeSantis is down four points against Biden. And then this poll is probably the most shocking. This is from Premise Data, which is a relatively decent polling outlet. It's actually a Democrat-favored pollster showing Trump up six points against Biden in a head-to-head -head matchup at 44% to 38 for Sleepy Creepy Piss Pants Joe. Ron DeSantis losing by two. Trump is unelectable. He's unelectable. He can never win a general election, they say. He is smoking Joe Biden right now. And supposedly the electable candidate, Ron DeSantis, is, well, crashing and burning beyond measure at this point. I mean, for Pete's sakes, could you imagine being Ron DeSantis right now? Nikki Haley, supposedly, according to the CNN poll, has a better chance of beating Biden than Ron DeSantis. And, and also, according to that poll, a better chance of beating Biden 
Biden than Donald Trump. I mean, I definitely don't believe that. Nikki Haley has the charisma of a pet rock. Anyways, I guess the conclusion of the video. In the world of politics, things change quickly. And boy, are things changing. And the leftoids, well, we should probably do a welfare check on them. I don't think they're doing so good. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.